Can you smile? But, but this one lo was a little bit different, but it was the same a little bit, be because it was like just a little bit different. Biscuit takes a walk. <laughs> Honey, relax. Hold. Hold. Show, show walk. Okay. You want everything, I know. The obstacles of my family is probably the fear of the unknown, hoping that your family's safe. I mean, my parents were very nervous about how open we are in public. It's more misunderstanding and just people not being educated. When Eric and I first decided we wanted to expand our family, we never thought that we would be rescuing a child from a less than desirable situation, to put it mildly. We started um, investigating surrogacy, and that is very, very cost prohibitive. We then considered foreign adoption and found that to be closed to us as an openly gay couple. We could have lied about who we are, and we didn't want to bring uh, a child into our family under false pretense. So it was my uh, sister who suggested DCF, you know, she said one day, have you considered DCF? And of course, we didn't consider DCF as, as a, a viable option um, to adopt a child. Uh, we adopted through DCF, and you have to take pride classes, they call it. And it's like 10 weeks of classes that are probably the scariest things um, you could ever go through. More or less because a lot of the adopted children are, have a lot of issues whether they're uh, drug-related issues because of the, the family, the reason why they might be pulled away from their family. So it was a kind of a scary process as to what kind of child am I going to adopt and what issues are they going to have and am I going to be able to help them in any way. So it was a very scary process. Many days we would come home from our classes and look at each other and say, why are we doing this? Right after we were licensed, we were called and Christian was the one. And it was like immediate. It was love at first sight. <laughs> All the time I, I hire the, the printer and, and sit down. And sometimes I sit down next to dad on the bench. Can I give you the list of what I want? Yes. Yeah, you can choose one of those. Huh? Yeah. Well, I think these are all packed. That's six books. They all come together. Yeah, they're single. Right. These are singles, though. Single. This is a sticker book. Yeah. Harry Potter sticker book. Yes. This is Star Wars Darth Maul's mission. Yes. I think you're missing a concept. You get to pick one! <laughs> After we had our civil union in 2005, we thought we would uh, enter the, the world of all things domestic and buy a house, actually. And Lebanon is just, it, it just seemed like a really nice farm town. So it seemed like a great place. You know, a little bit slower, a little bit simpler, a little quieter. And uh, there's a sense of peace in, in Lebanon. Lebanon is uh, primarily a conservative farming town, but it maintains the values that we fought for in the revolution, which it, although it took some time for these values to be completely embodied in our culture, such as abolishing slavery and so forth, those were the, the goals, the dreams of the original founders of this country, and eventually they did come true, and I think Lebanon represents that. The idea of freedom is very much alive here. Connecticut wasn't the first state to get uh, marriage equality for same-sex couples. 
um, but it was, I believe it's the first to get marriage equality through the legislature rather than uh, from a judicial decision. So it was a long battle that started with the battle for civil unions in the state and that took several years. Uh, and it went through the Judiciary Committee and it made its, its, its way through and civil unions passed. Last summer we were very pleased to see in the local paper um, a wedding announcement um, that two men had submitted and that they had gotten married. And um, we found these people and, and met them. And the first thing I said was, wow, we you know, knew we were moving into a farming community, but we didn't really know at how liberal it really was that the wedding between a gay, you know, a, a gay man and another gay man is, is put in the, the local paper. How fortunate for us. And one of the, the gentlemen said, well, actually, we had our civil union four years ago and we've been trying for a long time to get an announcement put in the paper. One of the things that we wanted to do is put it in the paper, in the, the local paper. Um, but anyway, the, our Lebanon Life, it was called, was run by a woman who is somewhat of... Um, clearly when I called her about putting, putting that in the paper, she was quite against it and, and said basically that um, that you people are already have enough rights. You don't, we don't want this kind of thing in the paper. I decide it's my paper, what I think the people of Lebanon should read about. Some time went by and uh, she, someone else kind of took over the running of the paper. And we had a, um, a, uh, another opportunity at this point to try again also wondering if I can announce my marriage in the announcement section. Um, Ginny wouldn't do it because we are both our men. He wrote back and said, Paul, I strongly disagree with calling your relationship a marriage, in quotes. I won't go into the reasons. I treat my reputation seriously, and I don't like attaching my name as publisher to something I strongly disagree with. But the law in this state disagrees. I assume you are legally married, and court cases have not ruled in my favor if I choose to decline your request. I'm not sure that's true, but according to Joyce O'Connick, who is the, our first selectman, there are several Lebanon same-sex couples who have married quote, and may want to also publish a similar announcement. I don't want Lebanon Life to become a political publication and will not allow this issue to be promoted on the pages of Lebanon Life. Three. Yet, with all this background, I took over Lebanon Life with a goal to make this Lebanon's publication. What goes on in Lebanon is welcome in Lebanon Life, whether I disagree with it or not. Therefore, even with my disagreement and above statements, I will agree to publish your announcement as a wedding announcement. You may include the names of the participants in the ceremony and their relationships to you and your mate. The very first time that I was able to say, oh, this is my husband, it was kind of eye-opening for me and for the, the other person. It just made perfect sense. Moving to Lebanon didn't really present any more uh, concern with regard to um, you know, meeting any type of ignorance or hatred, because um, it exists anywhere you go. And um, something that, that I um, didn't learn until the last couple of years is no matter where you go, you take yourself with you. People who move here can find a home for themselves, a safe place. And I think the green represents that, because the green is open to anyone. The green, you can walk around that mile and a half path around the green and absorb this cultural history as you're walking. And it represents exactly what people need when they come here, a home, safe. And I think anyone is welcome here. I'm no different than you are when it comes to family. And my family as it is now was no different than mine growing up. You know, the only difference is the mother is absent. The mother figure is absent, but I mean, I think I have that pretty well covered anyway. <laughs> you can't be static. You have to look at 
the fact that the change is probably the one permanent thing in life. And if you want to have change, you have to guide it. We need to preserve the good things. So it, it's often um, a conflict, but you can usually work it out. The old can live with the new. We're front-loading him how to deal with adversity already. I think that he will really be strong. He's already extremely strong-willed. I think he will face it head on. I think there'll be times in his life that he will look at us and not be thrilled with the fact that he has a different family. Um, but I think he'll see that you know, in the future that it really is no different than any other family. I think that, I think he'll, I think he'll come out of this just fine. I mean, I think he'll be great. He just knows he's loved. He has a good, secure home. That's all you need.